I think it's interesting that Link has, he's sort of getting all these sort of superpowers. And it, it would seem as if it makes it even less of a historical game, uh, the amount of, of magic that there is. Although the game is spitting this not as magic, but as advanced technology from the Sheikah tribe. But it makes me think of some of the work that historians have done on the control of time and timekeeping. Um, there was, what, back when I was a, a graduate student uh, in my historical theory course, we talked in particular, I remember Mark Bloch was a, a historian in the early 20th century. So we're talking like 1910s to 1940s. And in the 1930s, he wrote a book on uh, medieval society. The book was called Feudal Society. But I'm pretty sure it was about medieval France. And he had this interesting argument that um, people didn't really care about time as much in the, the medieval period. And specifically that people couldn't really keep track of time. And I remember there's this one particular anecdote he had about a duel that was supposed to take place where uh, one person showed up at the assigned time, which I believe was dawn or dusk. And then he waited there for hours and, and the other person never showed up. And so he went to the, the courts to ask that it be recorded that his opponent didn't show up. And then it, they, had, they couldn't figure out whether he had shown up on time or had not shown up on time because they couldn't figure out what time it was. And they had this huge sort of investigation and they consulted the, the, the town elder who was in charge of timekeeping because no one really kept track of time. They didn't have clocks or at least um, this community didn't have clocks in the same way that we do now. Um, and Mark Block was essentially arguing that people didn't care about time as much. It wasn't really important what time it was as much as what the weather was like or what season it was. And that oftentimes in these historical documents, people didn't even record the date. Sometimes they didn't record the year. Sometimes they didn't record any any indicating time of, of what time it was, which we now think is absurd. The whole point of a historical document is to indicate, to, to place it in time. And these people didn't really seem to care what time it was or even what year it was. Uh, so that makes me think of this time control. This in, in Zelda, we're like literally having a power of controlling time. But if you think about it, uh, a clock is time control. A calendar is time control. There is no such thing as time. Any time, and we as humans, we try to assert control over it by, by setting it up and blocking it off into these little separate units. And that is our attempt to, to assert some control over time. Um, when in reality, Maybe we don't have any control at all. Uh, and there's there's so much literature about time and the ways that humans have tried to use it and control it. Um, and maybe I'll, I'll, I think I might even record a separate video because there's one book in particular I'm thinking about, which is called The Colonization of Time, which is about how European colonizers uh, used their knowledge of and their methods of controlling time, their methods of timekeeping and calendars uh, to try to control indigenous societies who had a very different conception of time. And I think the person who wrote that book even uses the phrase time control or, or time regimes. Um, so it would have really interesting connections uh, to what science fiction and, and fantasy games and, and stories think of time control as a superpower to what it is in reality. It's not superpower, but it is a method of control. So I think that's my thoughts on this episode. And as I say uh, in the previous videos, and hopefully I don't have to keep repeating it, but I do really want this, this series and the, the next videos I do to be in response to the YouTube community. Um, so please, if you have any comments on this episode, if you have any comments on the series as a whole, if you have any suggestions of games to play in the future or any aspects of history you're interested in exploring, please hit me up in the comments. And, and I really want to make this series catering to, to your interests. Other than that, uh, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.
Bye.